Okay, so here's something that happens all the time. Somebody starts making a drawing and they click on this and they get going and um, they'll start a new sketch and we'll say something like we want to make a, a rectangle here and we want it to go out this way and we want it to be, uh, we'll go there, draw a rectangle, we're going to sketch it and then they're going to put a dimension on it. We're going to say we wanted it to be five inches and we'll say that this way we wanted it to be two inches, right? I'll extrude that and then extrude it. We only want it to be one inch. All right. Okay. So we just made that part. Did y'all catch that? Um, it happens all the time. It's no shame in it. Uh, I said one inch, but the drawing was actually in millimeters. So you'll find that sometimes your units are wrong and you want to change your units uh, when you get to doing something else. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back here. We're going to edit the sketch. Right. And even though it says five, and as a, a teacher you would look at it, or, or even someone else just looking at anything, you look at that and go, well, that looks like five, you know. You don't know it's five millimeters or anything like that. Unless you look down here, it says millimeters. All right. So that's kind of the first thing we're going to do is we want to change that. We want to make that five inches because now five millimeters is parts much too uh uh, too small so we're going to go to tools and go to document settings and we will go to units right here we're going to change this from millimeters to inches and then click apply and okay now you notice it changes those numbers there to inches this is now inches down here um, and we meant this to be five so we want that to be now be five so now it is actually five inches long and this one we meant for it to be Two. So instead of being two millimeters, we'll just make it two because now we're working in inches right here. Finish that sketch and it's not going to be very thick. So we've got to then right click and edit the feature. And we're going to now make that one inch thick, right? So that's how we're going to change the units and edit our part to get it to work the way we want it to.